everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about loading from files. Okay, so uh, to start off, why do we need to loading from files is very is it can be very easy. It can be simply very hard, but I'm going to make it easy and but file systems are very important and you will be using them whether you like it or not in the future. Uh, the reason why they're so important is that it prevents our code from, uh, first of all, it separates our code into a, a different file or separate things that we need to load in a different file. Also, it allows us to not have to recompile if we make minor changes. For example, if we store the health of our player in a text file and we change the initial health, then we we don't change the code at all. So then all we have to do is just run our program without re recompiling it, and therefore it saves time doing it that way. Also, uh, say for example we were going to we were going to save our game or whatever. There's no way we could save our content in our code because when we rerun the code again, it starts with the initial values. So what we'd have to do is load the values such as the player's position, etc., etc., from an external text file. And well, it doesn't have to be an actual text file, but from an external file. So we're going to be working with files, uh, text files now. And what I want you to do is create a text file and name it whatever you want. And I just put some text. And what we're going to do is we're going to read the text from here and display it to our console window. Now, when you save it, go to where your your folder is. Your if you're using Visual Studio, go to your folder is. You click it. You'll see debug and release, and you double click your project folder again and save it in there. Now, if you're using code blocks or something, you just have to click the project folder once and you'll see it in there. So, my text says hello world, this is coding made easy. Now, we have to include the F stream. Now, notice what these things have in common they both are streams, and I want to uh, note. I want you to take note of that because streams have a lot of stuff in common. Notice in the IO stream when we say CL and whatever and we write something. Think of it as this text is being distributed. That's why you use two left stream operators to the console window. And when we say uh, CN, this whatever, and we put in a variable, whatever is in the console window is being distributed to this variable name. So whatever it's pointing to, that's where it's distributing to. And uh, file systems work uh, similarly the same. So what we're going to do now, uh, before I confuse you guys, is that the, the F stream is a part of the STD namespace. So if you don't have using namespace STD, then you have to use STD colon colon and uh, whatever you're trying to use from the file stream. So anyways, we're going to use the F stream. So that is the type, just like it's an integer type, whatever. This time it's a file stream type. So you can name it anything you want. So I'll name it just open file. So uh, now we need to actually open up a text file to read from. Okay. Now you notice I put F stream. In this, F stream allows us to do writing or reading from text files. If you really want to just do reading alone, then put F stream. So for this tutorial, since we're just doing reading alone, we'll put F stream. So now we're going to say open file dot open. And in there, we put in the file name that we were, are going to open. So uh, we'll put test.txt. So notice that we don't have to put in a direct uh, absolute path name to it because uh, it isn't within our project folder. That's the reason why we put our, our text files in the project folder. Because say for example you distribute your, you say that the file is in the C drive and C drive and the the text is called test.txt or whatever, right? On another person's system, test.txt might not be in the C drive, right? And then you might run into an error that way. So this is why we put in the project folder to decrease the chances of error, of an error. So notice how we did this on two separate lines. This is like whenever we create an integer or like any other variable type, we say x and x is equal to five, right? But there is a way to do it in one line, just like we could do it like this, right? If you want to do it all in one line, then we just have to put the the opening bracket and then put in the file that we're trying to load. 
okay so either way is fine okay now uh, there's a bunch of different things that we can use with the file stream and I'm gonna be showing you each and every single thing that the file stream does but uh, for now sometimes uh, there can be a problem with loading files right like you expect the file to be loaded properly but sometimes it, it isn't loaded properly and this is a good example of when you would use an exception just like in the previous tutorial so most cases is if test.txt is in the project folder you expect that it will be loaded properly but say for example somebody deletes it right by accident then it won't run properly so you should have a try and an exception or something like that right just in case something like that happens but anyways there's a function that is built into the uh, file stream which is you take the variable name dot is underscore open so this will check to see if the file is open if it isn't then you can use the else statement to do something else so uh, while the file so when the file is open uh, we can go now we can go and get the contents of the file right so in order to get the contents of the file what we want to do is loop through the file right because uh, if we don't do this and it's just gonna read the first the way what the way file systems work is let me just open up notepad so uh, much like whenever whenever we call CN or something like that right when we type in something if we put a space between it and continue typing it will only take the first uh, whatever we first typed before the space right and the only way to change that is uh, when we use get line and I'll be talking more about the get line function later right so file streams work the same so if we had something like that this is Peter or something like that right then it will only when we check for it it will only take in this value right right there but we want to take in the whole all we want to take in all the values so what we have to do is loop till the end of the file right and before we even continue that what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a string we're gonna uh, load the string class uh, we're gonna call a string text and we'll just set it to a null string okay so how we do this is we say while not whatever we named it dot EOF so EOF stands for end of file so while we're not at the end of the file then continue looping throughout the file okay so what we're gonna do now is just like the C in works the if stream works the exact same so what we're gonna say is uh, we'll have a let's have a temporary string um, temp string or whatever and we'll say open file two write stream operators and we'll store it in temp string and then we'll say text plus equals temp string so just like just look at it as C in so what happens is that it says this is our file right so we take whatever's in our file and store it that's why it's pointing to this and we'll store it in this variable right here right so that's exactly what's going on so what's going to happen when we open our text file let me open notepad one more time so when we open our file this is what's going to happen whatever this is what's going to happen it's going to get this stored in the text file then it's going to go to this word this index so it goes until it sees a space then so it's just going to store it in the text file in in our this is going to store it in our temporary string then it's going to get this stored in our temporary string and it's going to notice that this is the end of the file we have nothing else in the file so uh, it's going to exit this while loop and everything is going to run smoothly so if we uh, what we're just going to do at the end is that we're going to display our text just to see if we loaded it properly so we're going to run this program just to see if the output is correct okay opening I should run this without debugging Uh, 
I'm not sure why it's not working. Okay, so as you see, it says hello world. This is coding made easy, right? Jumbled up into one phrase. Because as I said before, it doesn't take into account the spaces, okay? So when it reaches a space, then it uh, cancels and it starts from the next letter. So whenever we said uh, text plus equals temp string, it just took in the letters itself and it never took in the spaces. So if you want to make it seem more realistic, then you could say plus and add in a space. So if we run this one more time, then you can see it with the spaces which is how it's supposed to be so anyways this is a quick overview on uh, loading in files or reading files using the if stream the next tutorial we will uh, look into writing to files in the off stream and I know that this tutorial probably confused you so there will be like There'll be probably at least five tutorials on the file streams and the file systems because you really need to learn this. So I'm going to be talking about loading in files more in depth in future tutorials. But I hope this was easy enough for you and I hope you learned something. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.